Hi, my name is John. I'm going to be demonstrating how to do an O3 UV treatment for a large animal, um, say a horse or a cow or even a camel, something, you know, 1,200 pounds, 1,500 pounds, some, somewhere in that range. Um, we're going to be taking about 250 mLs of blood for an animal that size. That's our standard procedure. And we're going to be mixing that with about 1,000 mLs of saline. Uh, so that's the ratio, about 20% blood, 80% saline, um, that we're going to mix together and treat with biophotonic energy and also with ozone. Um, so let's look at the equipment real quick. To my right here, we have the Gorilla UV machine. And uh, we manufacture this. Um, it's again, it's our large animal biophotonic device um, that utilizes ultraviolet light energy. Um, just next to that we have an infusion pump. Um, you may already have some sort of infusion pump in your practice, um, so anything will work. Um, you're also going to need an ozone machine. Uh, so we don't have, we do sell those as well, but we don't have one of them here to display right now. So you need an ozone machine as well. Um, let's go through the supplies real quick. So right in front of me I have a number of items. Um, first you're going to see I have a quartz cuvette. This is a 12 inch Gorilla UV quartz cuvette, which has a turbulator to spin and mix the blood. Um, that's necessary. You're also going to need an O3 Vets blood bag, something uh, like this to um, this is actually a 1500 ml bag for large animals. Going to need some saline, um, 1000 milliliters. I only had 500 ml bags. A 1000 ml bag would be more appropriate, but I'll just use two 500 ml bags. Um, you're going to need a, a small plastic hemostat, something like that is helpful. Um, a needle to draw the blood from the, from the animal, whatever gauge and, and type of needle that you choose. Um, an evacuated bottle is, I think, probably the easiest way to get the blood from the animal. Uh, this is a 250 cc bottle, um, which you can use. You can also use a syringe. Uh, you'll just have to do a couple draws with the syringe to get the enough blood. Then you'll need an anticoagulant. Um, this is heparin. You can use ACD. Um, whatever you choose uh, is good, but. Uh, we'll use probably about 5,000 units of heparin. Um, and this is a small syringe to preload either the larger syringe or the evacuated bottle with the heparin before we draw the blood. You also need an IV administration um, line. This is, uh, has a spike port and a sight chamber. Um, it also has a lure lock connection on the other end um, and then a roller clamp. Um, so that's pretty standard. And then the finally, you'll need uh, either a bag like this or you can use syringes as well. This is a, a large ozone insufflation bag that we use to actually just um, pump the ozone into that we're going to use for our O3 UV treatment. So we, uh, we sell these as well if you need those. So those are the uh, items you're going to need. Why don't we just jump right into the um, Procedure. I'll show you what we do. We're going to start by hanging our O3 Vets 1500 ml blood bag up here. And I've got two of these um, circular hangers. Um, and I find that those would be helpful for if you've got an IV pole, but you could also just take those and you could hang them um, uh, on a rail or a wire mesh in the barn if you're doing it out there. So those might be helpful. We're going to hang that. And what we're going to do next is we're going to take our saline and we're going to infuse that into um, the bag. So I'm going to spike the saline here. And then I'm going to make sure that's roller clamped off so I don't get any before I want it. I'm going to take the cap off the other side as well. Take my cap off my bag over here. And then I'm just going to connect my uh, IV admin set to the bag here securely. Um, and I'm going to open up my roller clamp. I'm going to just infuse actually that uh, full amount of saline. You can see it coming into the bag here over on my right. Um, I'm going to infuse this bag of saline into the uh, 
blood bag. Um, once I've done that and I've got all my 1000 mLs of, of saline in there, um, then we can actually go ahead and go to the uh, patient and draw blood which will also be infused into the bag here. So I'm going to go ahead and get all of this into there and uh, then we'll continue with the procedure. Okay, we're actually done infusing all of the 1000 mLs of saline into the bag. Now you can do that, um, it takes about 5-6 minutes to infuse all of that into the bag, but uh, if you hang the uh, saline bag up higher, a bit higher than this bag, um, then you can just leave it there while it self infuses um, or you can squeeze that bag and, and uh, speed the process up and get it all in. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and remove my empty bag here, get rid of that. And uh, now we've got our, all of our saline into the uh, blood bag and we can go ahead and go um, take our evacuated bottle, our needle, um, and oh of course you, you're going to preload then the bottle with a little bit of heparin, the way we do that. Um, let's take a small syringe. You draw up actually a whole milliliter of uh, this heparin and then you can infuse it into the bottle. And, and then once that's done, um, just set your heparin and needle aside, we're done with that. Um, we've got our, our bottle now, um, we've got our heparin, um, take our needle and uh, go ahead and go get um, blood from the patient. You can also use a syringe, however you choose to do that. Um, but we're going to go do that and, uh, and then we'll continue on. Okay, so we've, we've got our 250 mLs of blood um, from the patient. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take that and infuse it into our saline. So we'll use the, the same IV administration line and um, we'll actually take this, this bag and set the bag down. So that we can use gravity to fill it. Um, we'll take our bag or our bottle and we'll spike spike the uh, the bottle and hang that in where the bag was here. And then we'll open up our line. We might get a little bit of saline going into the bag. Nope, we're, we're flowing. So we have to allow the bag then to go ahead and fill. with the blood. Um, and I'm going to set that down on the floor and let it fill so that it runs uh, quickly. We get a little bit better flow there. And let that uh, fill up. I'm going to open my vent so that that flows uh, a little bit more quickly. So it's filling now well. It's flowing at a, a good rate. That should take a couple minutes okay, to so we finished there. actually with the blood. It only took a few minutes to fill the bag. Um, so I'm gonna, I've taken it up off the floor and I'm gonna hang this bag uh, back up where it was and take our bottle down. There we go. Um, And I can go ahead and remove this from the bottle. And can spike the uh, the bag here. Okay. So I'm going to roller clamp shut. And then I am going to take my plastic hemostat and I'm going to clamp off here, make sure we don't get any fluid out. And then I'm going to just remove um, the line from that. And uh, we're going to be connecting our cuvette now. So 
So I'll take my cuvette and simply connect it via the lure lock. And uh, at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the cuvette um, with uh, the solution. And when I do that, I want to make sure to hold my cuvette upright. And the reason for that is because we don't want any air bubbles to form in this. So I'm going to open my roller clamp. And before I do that, I'm going to get uh, some sort of uh, a cup or something to drain into um, as this fills. I want to make sure to get all the air bubbles out of there and I might need to use a cup um, to let the first little bit drain into that. Okay, that's actually, we didn't need the cup, um, that's actually good uh, up through there, that's sufficiently primed. Now what we can do is we can take our cuvette and uh, put it in our machine. And warm that up. We're going to take our line and connect it there. And take our clamp off. So now we're just going to take our tube and insert it into the uh, infusion pump here. And I've already set the infusion pump for the proper speed of flow and the amount of fluids we're treating, which is uh, 800 milliliters per hour and um, 1,250 milliliters of fluid. So that's all set. I'm gonna go ahead and take my roller clamp off and uh, start the process. Infusion begins. So now we're pumping. It's uh, pulling, drawing from the bottom here. It's running all the way through the cuvette and then running back up into the bag um, and this actually is coming out in the top. So where our tubing, our specially designed tubing allows the, the warmer fluids to go into the top and that's where they stay. The cooler fluids down here go through that way we get an even exposure. Um, so this actually is gonna run for about 90 minutes. So as that runs, um, you can go do other things obviously. Once this is done, uh, the pump will alert you and you can come back and uh, draw that blood up to reinfuse back into the uh, into the horse and we'll show you how to do that. Okay so our full amount of fluid has been treated. Um, I'm going to shut the machine down and uh, we can remove our cuvette. Now what we're going to do first here is take uh, the cuvette off of this line. So I'll clamp off up here at the bag um, and I'll make sure and roller clamp my line shut so I'm not going to get any fluid traveling back and forth. Actually the infusion pump would also um, eliminate that potential. And then I'm going to take my uh, cuvette off. I'm going to crimp this line just with my hands so that I don't get any fluid again um, once I take it off. I'm going to set that down and then I'm going to connect the cuvette to itself um, and I'm just going to get rid of this. Now you could have drawn that blood up but it's only a, a small amount. Um, I'm just going to dispose of that um, and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this line and uh, remove it from the infusion pump. And that's our that's our treatment. Now we've all we've got to do now is uh, get our ozone into the bag. Um, so I'll go ahead and set this aside, and uh, we'll take our our bag for ozone, and uh, we'll go draw up our ozone using the lure lock connection from our ozone machine, and uh, we'll be back to infuse that into the bag. Okay, so now we've got our ozone. Um, in our insufflation bag and I'm going to take just a regular needle and hook it up um, and then we'll take the cap off of that and we'll infuse that into our uh, O3 Vets bag and I'm just going to have to unclamp this I'll put some pressure on it 
then we'll bubble that up right up on through there into the bag. Make sure to get all of our ozone into there. And then I'm going to clamp that off. Remove that. Now we've got our ozone and our, uh, our bio, biophotonically treated um, blood. I'm going to just gently mix it a little bit here. Make sure we get all the ozone out of the out of the bag just by chance if any got through to the top. Okay. So now we can take this, um, take our IV admin line and uh, connect a needle to the end of this and reinfuse it back into the patient. And that will give you an O3 UV treatment for a large animal.